what's poppin'? It's your boy from the C, the ATL Don, checking in. This week, we got another sneaker pickup. This is from GOAT. With no further ado, let's get into this. All right, this might be the most anticipated Jordan 1 to release in 2021. You already know what it is from the thumbnail and the title. It does drop December 30th. I got a little bit early. Jordan 1 box, a little different than normal. It has a shine to it. Just, I think they did that because of it being a patent leather release. First time I've ever seen them change it up like that, though. So, cool little touch. Size 12. They retail for 170 Once again, they drop December 30th. All right. Got the GOAT authentication card. Goat sticker. Let's check these bad boys out. All right, so we got the Jordan 1 bread patent leather, or some people are calling it the patent bread, or whatever you want to call it. Very, very nice shoe. I know some people are not fans of patent leather. Uh, I like them personally. Uh, the only downfall, if you wear them a lot, the creasing um, makes them look bad. Um, com compared to a re regular Jordan 1, creasing doesn't look as bad um, with a regular leather type. But with a patent leather, um, it, it can uh, look pretty bad. I have a few patent leathers in my collection. So... On this one, it looks like everything but the tongue is patent. You know, I have a 2003 uh, Chicago that's mostly patent, except I think the swoosh and maybe a couple areas are, are not. Very, very nice shoes. Got the little red hangman down like in a red chrome type color with the red chain. The 2003s came with a uh, chrome jump man like that, but the jump man's way smaller. Always been a fan of um, red and black colorways. Those are my two favorite colors. All right, so inside the sock liner, if the camera can pick it up, it's the word family. Right there where my finger is. I don't know if the camera's picking that up or not. Uh, I'll do a close-up at the end of the video. It's got the black insoles with the Nike Air done in red. Got the Nike Air done in red on the tongue. Uh, basically, it is what it is. You, you know, you're already familiar with the bread colorway. Very dope shoe. It comes with an extra set of laces, the red. I'll leave the black in it. That's just my preference. This makes, I think, five or six breads in my collection. And uh, this is the Chicago patent leather I was telling you about from 2003. So see on this one, this upper padding is not patent leather and the swoosh in this black area is not patent leather, but the rest of the shoe is, including the tongue on, on this 2003 pair. I bought these back in 2003. I actually had doubled up on them and I sold the dead stock pair I think back in 2017, which I regret now because the price jumped up drastically. You see, they had the little chrome jump man on this. So you can see the size of the jump man. Things like drastically bigger on the patent breads. Plus, this is like a mid top version. It has the jump man on the back. But, uh, I rarely wear these. I do suggest putting sneaker shields in, especially in patent leather. 
Uh, I do have them in here. I wore them a few times without sneaker shields because uh, back then they didn't have sneaker shields to my knowledge. And so I do have a little bit of toe box creasing on this one from when I wore them in the uh, earlier 2000s. Trying to think what other patent leather we got. The uh, UNC Chicago's are done in the patent leather. This is the same layout as this one when it comes to all the um, areas that they use patent leather on. And let's see. We got the gold toe. That's also done this, the same way. I do have uh, some mid, it's like the carbon fiber all-star game ones. But they're at my other filming location. Let's see. I got the low top version of uh, the gold toe. So that's all the patent leather I believe in my collection. Let me grab all my breads that I have here. So I have, let's put this one out of the way, five pairs of breads here. I do have one other one that's at my filming location where I film Fitted Fiend at. So this is the 2021. This is the 2016. I just had added this to the collection before the Last Dance documentary came out and the resale value of almost all the, especially the, the Jordan OGs, like skyrocketed. So I got lucky that I was able to get this before that happened so I got the 2016 version uh, this is this has really good leather quality on it then this is that mid that they released I have another version of this but I painted this red version black I actually did a video on that to make it make it look like the uh, the OG bread high then we got the Jordan 1 bread fat low I got these back I think in 09 if I'm not mistaken and uh, this was actually my very first bread I ever bought. It came in a uh, DMP pack with, uh, let's see, this pack I bought back in 2009. So it came with both of these. I can't remember if I bought it off East Bay or if I got it from the Nike Town and Lenox Mall in Atlanta. I can't remember. So this was my very first bread. This is also 2009. So we got. 2021, 2016. I think these dropped in 2020, didn't they? I can't remember. Then uh, 2009, 2009. So if I was to narrow it down, these are probably my two favorite. So looking forward to rocking these, but I don't recommend wearing these patent leathers on a regular basis just due to the materials. Um, just to me personally don't look that great once they start creasing on patent leather but I do also su suggest to put sneaker shields in them to keep the toe box from creasing up because that's the main area that people see the most when they see the creasing so I do suggest putting sneaker shields in them um, they really do work uh, I, I wear them in all the all the Jordans and Air Force Ones and stuff that I, um, that I wear on a regular basis so so remember these drop December 30th. I'll try to get this video out before Christmas. So I hope everybody enjoyed today's video. Stay tuned to the end of the video for a close up. Please give a big thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. Trends and limited merch in the description. Until next time, it's your boy from the C, the ATL Don, signing out. Peace.
Sanders, Gordon.